Hello, everybody. Welcome to Virtual Club Live this Tuesday, July 13th, 2021, halfway through summer. I'm Josh Peterson. We're broadcasting live right now from the Boys and Girls Clubs of Benton and Franklin Counties in Kennewick, Washington. A hot day we're having today. Wherever you're watching from, thanks so much for joining us today. We've got a great show coming up today on Virtual Club Live. What's your favorite fandom? Is it Pokemon? Final Fantasy, Minecraft, Doctor Who? Well, today is Embrace Your Geekness Day, and we've got a great project for you to embrace your love for your favorite fandom, a stencil art project with Jesse. Plus, we're gonna check in with some of our elementary school youth who got to get up close with some Australian animals during a fun, check that guy out, an inspiring summer camp presentation. And have you ever wanted to make your own comic book, but you just weren't sure where to get started? We've got you covered. Tannis Mech is back with a creative project. He's gonna show you how to make your own comic book. Love this activity. But first, as we all know, summer activities continue across the Boys and Girls Clubs of Benton and Franklin Counties. Check out these youth at our White Bluffs Elementary School site in Richland having a little water fight. Some staff versus youth, love that trying to beat the heat. It has been hot outside, kind of smoky today. So we hope that you've been staying cool and finding fun ways to enjoy the summer weather. And youth across our organization are enjoying the summer with several guest speakers and presentations taking place at summer camps across our organization. At Boys and Girls Clubs, we are proud to give youth access to meaningful, unique, and inspiring programs like uh, amazing, this amazing visit from our friends at Animal Encounters Northwest. They did several hands-on presentations for our elementary school youth. Check it out. What happened today was a reptile lady came and she showed us a bunch of cool animal or reptiles and mammals. Today they met a uh, selection of Australian animals they met a Bennett's wallaby, a baby Bennett's wallaby. Um, babies are called joeys if they grow up in the pouch. They uh, met a sugar glider. Those were the two mammals they interacted with today. They met a spotted python and a carpet python. Those are our two snake species. The lizards they met were bearded, a bearded dragon, a blue tongue skink, and a frilled dragon. My favorite animal was probably the the tiny snake and the and the kangaroo. I really like the two, the sugar glider and the joey because they were really adorable. I also like the snakes because, whoa, I am a big fan of snakes. My favorite animal she brought was the kangaroo because it was super duper soft. My favorite animal was the. All, both, all the snakes that she brought. It's one thing to see a video or to look at an animal in a book, but there is nothing like a personal, physical connection when you get to encounter a live animal. It elicits an emotional response. And when we have an emotional connection to things, we want to protect them and we see them in a different light. So we are hoping to inspire a new group of future environmentalists. And you know, even if they don't decide that they love snakes after interacting and touching with them, they'll realize that it is an important creature and that, you know, it's, uh, they can have uh, an interaction with it and maybe, if, if not protect the animal itself, learn to protect its environment. All right, another big thank you to Animal Encounters Northwest. This was an experience our young members won't forget. Very, very cool. And if you can't make it to a club this summer, don't worry, we've got some new printable activities for you to do at home. Just head to our website, virtualbgc.org. Our latest activity is a super cool printable maze. Love this. We've also got word searches, coloring activities, and more fun is on, our, on the way. And one of our printables, this one here, is part of our new July Virtual Club Challenge. No matter where you are or what you're doing this summer, we can all take a few minutes to relax 
and color in our favorite beach scene. This month's challenge is to color in this activity sheet, print it out, grab some markers, and be creative. You can send submissions, a picture of your finished summer camp uh, coloring page to contact at virtualbgc.org. The deadline to send in your submission is Saturday, July 31st. We're gonna announce the winner on our Virtual Club Facebook page Tuesday, August 3rd. So we hope that you'll participate and we can't wait to see everything that you come up with. The winner of this month's challenge you're gonna get an awesome imagination art set from Crayola, 115 pieces of artistic awesomeness for you to create your next art project. Very, very cool. All right, well, if you haven't heard, today is Embrace Your Geekness Day. This is the perfect day to share your love for Pokemon, Final Fantasy, Minecraft, and more with others. If you wanna embrace your fandom in, a, in an artistic way, check out this creative stencil art project from Jesse. In this video, Jesse shows you how to use paint, sponges, scissors, paper, and other materials to create a unique display. In this tutorial, Jesse uses a bad wolf design from Doctor Who to create her masterpiece. Check it out. Hi everybody, I'm Jesse, and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Today is National Geek Day. So I thought for National Geek Day, I would do this really fun project with you guys to show off your favorite fandom. All right, so for this project, it's in two parts. And so for the first part, we are gonna create the background on our paper. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use some plastic wrap. And so I'm just gonna set my paper off to the side. And I want a piece of plastic wrap that is the same size as my paper. If it's a little bit big or a little too short, that's fine. Just try and get it to the best size as you can. Now comes the fun part. I'm gonna take my washable markers and I'm going to cover this. It doesn't have to be 100% covered and it doesn't have to be in any particular order. If you wanna do stripes, diagonals, checkered, totally up to you. I'm gonna go more of a tie-dye look. And so I've got all different colors of blue because I'm, my project is gonna be from Doctor Who. So I've got some TARDIS blue going on. And like I said, it's a little bit tie-dye, just gonna go ahead and color it. Now, you guys may notice that the marker on top of the saran wrap isn't solid, and that's okay, because these are washable markers. Saran wrap is a type of plastic. It's not porous, so the ink in the marker, which is a liquid, is trying to be absorbed into the plastic, and it's not working. And so it's just kind of sitting on top of the plastic and floating around. So very, very carefully, you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it ink side down on top of your piece of watercolor paper. And then go ahead and squish. Remember how I said that ink is just setting on top? Well, now it's attaching itself to the watercolor paper, which is porous and likes to absorb the ink. Got it all rubbed down? Sweet, go ahead and pick it up. And check out that really cool background. So we've got all different colors of blues on here. We're gonna give it just a couple minutes to dry while we work on the next section. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to cut out our stencil. And for this part, you might need adult supervision because you're gonna be working with an X-Acto knife that is super, super sharp. And I'd hate for you guys to hurt yourselves, okay? So once you figure out what fandom you're gonna do, go ahead and go online and find a representation of your fandom. I just found this free get, uh, free JPEG on the internet for Doctor Who. Went ahead and I printed it out on cardstock. It's a little bit thicker paper, so it's gonna make cutting a lot easier. All right, so there's two different ways you can make this stencil. The first way is you can cut out all the green and leave the black. If you do that, then what's gonna happen is when we paint, what you're gonna see in the bad wolf sign would be our background. I'm gonna do the opposite. I want my background seen, so I'm gonna come in and cut out all this black. 
Now, one thing to remember when you're cutting out a stencil, you always have to make sure that all your pieces are connected. So for example, right here on this B, if I was to cut out just the black and then cut out this side of the black, all of a sudden my B just turns into a big blob. So I need to make sure that this green section and this green section is somehow connected to this one. So I've got my handy dandy silver Sharpie and I'm just gonna come in and draw some reference lines so I know when to stop and when to restart up my cuts so that I don't accidentally cut out a section that I need. I've got this section of my A. Now this part is tricky. As you can see, this green right through here connects to the green out here, but this little green doesn't. And so for this to continue to stay a D, I have to cut out that little section. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take it and I'm just gonna draw my line right here to right there. So it doesn't have to be very big, okay? But it's still gonna give that D shape a D shape. And then the last one I need to do is my O. All right. Now, let's go ahead and cut. Again, please use adult supervision or adult help if you need it, because the X-Acto knives are extremely sharp. All right, my stencil's all cut out. Go ahead and put your cutting mat and your X-Acto knife away because we're not gonna be needing it for the rest of the project. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bring our paper back over with our really cool background. Gonna go ahead and set our stencil and figure out exactly right about where we want it. And I'm gonna put it right about there. Now, depending on what fandom you're doing, will depend on what color paint. Since I'm doing Doctor Who, I'm gonna stick with my blue theme and I've got some dark blue. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some of my dark blue paint onto my palette. And then using some sponge brushes, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab some paint and dab. You don't wanna use strokes because you don't wanna move your stencil pieces because they are pretty fragile. So just go ahead and just dab it right on. All right, I'm all dabbed on. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? I know I am. Go ahead and let's lift. How cool is that? Oh, I'm so excited. That turned out amazing. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Hey, pop down below. Tell me what your favorite fandom is. I'd love to hear from you guys. Who's your favorite superhero? I know mine, I love Captain America, but I wanna hear about yours. So post some pictures of your amazing artwork and I'd love to hear all about your fandoms. So until next time guys, happy geek day, bye. Thanks, Jesse. Love this project. And you can use any imagery, symbols, logos, or text from any other fandom you like. Be creative and embrace your geekness. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to check in with some of our youth in Pasco to learn about fire safety and prevention thanks to Franklin County firefighters. Very cool story. We'll be right back. The future is uncertain for millions of young Americans facing a competitive job market. Additionally, businesses are reimagining how they work and serve their customers. How can young people prepare to meet the workforce challenges of tomorrow? They need safe spaces and positive mentorship today. That's where Boys and Girls Clubs of America come in to level the playing field and help our youth stay on the right path in the midst of change. Mentors and activities help develop essential skills like communication, creativity, and critical thinking. Club experiences spark interest in careers related to STEM, business, the arts, and more. Together with our partners, 
Clubs empower teens to explore volunteerism, extracurriculars, and certifications in their communities. They can even access financial literacy programs, internships, and local jobs. Boys and Girls Clubs of America is developing today's youth into tomorrow's leaders, innovators, and problem solvers, ready to not only meet challenges, but exceed all expectations. Learn more about our workforce readiness programs at bgca.org slash workforce. All right, welcome back. It's time now for one of my favorite parts of the show. Are you ready for it? Clubs across the country. Get in the car, or a boat, a plane, or strap on your roller skates. We're heading out of town, but today I need some help with this trip. Ethan, one of our digital media interns here at the creative department is gonna take over this segment today. Ethan, welcome to Virtual Club Live. How are you doing? I'm doing great, how are you, Josh? I'm doing good. It's your first time on camera here. Yes, it is. Are you nervous at all, doing okay? Just a little bit nervous? <laughs> All right, so you've been, uh, you're a digital media intern here. That's correct. What's been your favorite part about the internship experience so far? I don't think I have a favorite part. It's all pretty fun. I love everything that we do here. Gets pretty crazy sometimes, <laughs> but a lot of fun. Lot all of fun. right, we're talking clubs across the country. Ethan, take it away. Tell us what's going on. Youth at the Youngstown, Ohio Club took part in some nature activities put on by the Villa Maria Education and Spirituality Center. This included blueberry picking, discovery hikes, water quality activities, and so much more. Next, we're headed to Illinois. Teens from Elgin Boys and Girls Club took a trip down to the Paramount School of Arts. They took a tour of the building, visiting the prop, costume, and scene shop, as well as learning about careers in theater. And finally, we'll stop just across that state border in Wisconsin. Kids from the Fond du Lac Boys and Girls Club in Wisconsin took a trip to Extreme Air and did some rock climbing. Afterwards, they celebrated National Sugar Cookie Day by de decorating some of their very own sugar cookies. I love these stories, Ethan, super great. So if you had to choose, would you rather eat a bunch of sugar cookies or go rock climbing? Kind of two like super different things here. Right? <laughs> I was gonna say, can I have both? I'll eat the sugar cookies and then go rock climbing to burn the calories you off. Got, you gotta like earn it, right? You gotta yeah. climb up and then get a sugar get cookie, the, eat it, climb, back, climb down, back down, and then you gotta go back up and yep. get it again. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> awesome. Ethan, thanks for joining us today for Virtual Club thanks Live. Thanks so much for having and, me. Uh, have it running our clubs across the country segment. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Next up, we're going to check in with our local clubs across our community. Boys and Girls Clubs of Benton and Franklin Counties. We've got so much going on. And for that, we're going to check in with our other digital media intern, Ollie Soto. Ollie, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Josh. How are you? I'm doing great. Your first time on Virtual Club Live, you know, our last show you were here behind the scenes. <laughs> how does it feel to be uh, in front of the camera right now? I love it. I love the whole adrenaline and everything that comes with it. It's a lot of fun. Well, we love having you as part of our internship program, an amazing digital media intern. Tell us what's going on at clubs across our local community. Yeah, of course. Before we actually start that, I wanted to say a big thank you to the firefighters from Franklin County Fire District 3 for recently visiting with our club youth at Roseland Franklin STEM Elementary in Pasco. Youth learned about fire safety prevention and they got to check out a fire truck and an ambulance up close to see how they work. Now let's check out what our friends are doing over at the Pasco Club. Youth over there are staying out of the heat and trying out some tie-dye, having fun personalizing their own masks with all colors of the rainbow. I can't wait to see how they come out. Intramural soccer has also started. Take a look at the Pasco Club's first game against Prosser. The teens started the season off with a whopping 12 to zero. Let's start a, what a great way to get out, get together and make some lasting relationships. Now over to our Kennewick Club. We are kicking off the youth dance program with our partners at DEA Education Foundation. Youth are having lots of fun within the program and learning how to express themselves in a safe way. And look, Keystone leaders at the Kennewick Club are also out at the market. Kennewick Club teens had some fun volunteering at the Kennewick Farmers Market. They ran their very own Boys and Girls Club booth, giving out cool merch and having a great time. Now let's see what some of our early learning sites are doing. Kiddos over there at the Pasco Clubhouse Preschool got to enjoy a tasty apple snack with their lunch. They baked up some apple bread and it looks pretty tasty. Look at all those happy faces. Now let's finally take a look at our CBC preschoolers. They got some new play sets and youth now have a great play 
washing machine and gray easel to showcase all of their best work. Look at how, look at all those creative minds at work. Now, let's go back to you, Josh. What's going on? We love it, Ollie. It's so great. There's just so many amazing activities happening across our organization. I love the kids making stuff with apple. What's your favorite treat or food that incorporates apple? Uh, in apple pie, most definitely. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> apple pie, there's, you just can't beat it. We absolutely love it. <laughs> All right, Ollie, thanks so much for joining us today and for sharing a look at what's going on at clubs across our community. We're going to take another quick break. When we come back, we're going to check in with Tannis, who's going to show us how to unleash our inner comic book creator with a fun and easy project for young artists and storytellers. Stay with us. 500,000 plus military kids serve across 4,700 safe places from big cities to rural communities. Membership is free for military kids of National Guard, Reserve, and active duty families. At Boys and Girls Clubs, we provide diverse, educational, and fun programs, doing whatever it takes for every military kid who comes through our doors. Visit bgca.org slash military to find a club near you. Great futures start here. All right, welcome back. Looking for a fun way to unleash your storytelling art and design skills? You might want to try creating a comic. Comics are a great way to tell a variety of stories in unique ways. You can use your imagination to bring characters, locations, conflict, and various scenarios to life. Not sure how to get started? Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, Tannis shows you how to create a simple comic using a sheet of paper. Check it out. Hi, it's Tannis, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own comic book. Today, I'm going to walk you through a basic process for making your own comic books. Now, this basic process can be used to make super long ones or super small ones, whatever you want. Today, I'm going to be making a small one, but it'll be the exact same no matter what size you make. The first step is going to be brainstorm. Now, a brainstorm is just gonna be a series of words or doodles or pictures or whatever it takes to get you into kind of an artistic frame of mind. Next up, we're gonna have an outline or a skeleton of our comic book. Now, this is gonna be kind of like what our comic book is gonna look like at the end, but it's gonna be really rough. There's not gonna be all that detail or color or anything like that. It's just to give us a one step farther, one step closer to making our final copy. And finally, we're gonna have our final art. That's gonna have all of our pictures as detailed as we want. It's gonna have all the ink or crayon, crayons or colors or whatever it is that we're using to make it as perfect as we want it. Let's get started with the brainstorm. So, as I said, a brainstorm is just a series of words or doodles or whatever it takes to get you into an artistic frame of mind. These are things that might make their way into your comic book, they might not. It's just interesting ideas. For example, I would like my comic to be about a superhero. So that's gonna be the first word I'm gonna write down. Then I'm gonna write down other things such as a big city. He is probably in a big city like New York or something like that. This looks like a pretty good brainstorm list for right now. It's gonna be about a superhero. It's gonna be in a big city. There's gonna be a big old bang somewhere. He's gonna suit up. And I think he's gonna end up being a young man. So, we are now on to the outline. Before we begin with our outline, we have to decide what we want our pages to look like. Pages in comic books are generally made up of panels. Panels are just little blocks of area that are each gonna have their own different types of art or words involved. So you can have something super easy and basic like four panels just like this, or you can have something maybe a little bit more interesting with five panels in all different sizes. But for this one, I think we're gonna stick with four panels. Now, the first thing that I want to do is establish the place. So this first panel I think is going to be of the city. It's not gonna be super detailed since this is the outline. It's just gonna have a bunch of big buildings. 
right here, I'm thinking about having the superhero, but he's not suited up. He's just his regular everyday human form. Right here, I imagine he's gonna be suiting up to go and do something. And finally, here, he's going to be out doing whatever superheroing he has for the day. There you have it, our outline. As you can see, I didn't put a whole lot of detail in it. The buildings are just rectangles. I have stick figures. I didn't put any detail into his, into his costume or anything like that. This is just an idea for what we're gonna look at in our final. Now we're gonna begin with our final product. This is gonna start off with a sketch. Now the sketch is gonna look kind of like our little outline, but we're gonna have a little bit more detail. We're gonna be doing it in pencil this time to make sure that we can erase anything that comes up wrong, but it's gonna look remarkably like our outline. Now I've kind of completed the final art that I'm gonna have. Next up is gonna be filling in the color and then finally filling in the thought bubble and putting in a nice big old bang right there. There you have it, my very own finished comic. So that was my process for creating a comic book, by going through the brainstorm process, the outline, until I get all the way to my final finished product. You can experiment and find your own way through that might work best for you. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. All right, thanks, Tannis. And we've got some great comic book page templates available for free download on our website. Just go to virtualbgc.org to see them all. Well, if you're passionate about supporting the Boys and Girls Club and eating pizza, we encourage you to head to Papa John's this month. Use promo code BGC10 on your next order in July and August and get 30% off your online order with 10% of your total donated to Boys and Girls Club. Super great opportunity. Big thank you to Papa John's. We appreciate your support so much. And we wanna give a big thank you to Mercer Ranches for sponsoring great summers at our clubs. Your support helps us provide important healthy lifestyles programs to youth during the summer months, giving them opportunities to nurture their well-being, develop their physical fitness abilities, and grow into self-sufficient adults. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you for joining us today for Virtual Club Live. To see more content at any time, follow us on our social media pages, YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram. Just search Virtual BGC BFC, that's Boys and Girls Clubs of Benton and Franklin Counties. You can also check out our website for a full list of all of our videos. Head to virtualbgc.org to see them all. More than 190 videos we now have. 
All right, well, we're going to leave you with a look outside of our building as we wrap up our broadcast. We hope you have a cool rest of your day and a great rest of your week. We'll see you next time.